Hi. Welcome to another informative video. Today we will see how Adobe shocked the whole AI industry by introducing their new family of creative generative AI models called Adobe Firefly. The company launched its Firefly project earlier in March and has been gradually expanding access to the beta products to those who sign up on a waiting list. Let's explore what we can do with Adobe Firefly. Before exploring the tools we will go through some future concepts introduced by the company. As it is in beta we will review some trailers and I will show you some amazing features in detail. First on the list is this feature where you can change any part of the image by simply highlighting a specific part. When you click on the generate variations it produces different matching items and merges them seamlessly. We can again make changes by simply refreshing. It also has a feature to extend the background by putting desired text and it will generate the background according to your selection and commands. Next on the list is this feature where you can use your sketches and convert them into vectors by selecting the sketch and putting the desired prompt. This feature is going to be helpful in Adobe Illustrator. Next on the list is this feature which allows us to change the whole scenery of your picture from summer to winter simply by giving a command. It will give you three options and you will able to add motion to the picture. We can also see this feature which allows us to generate templates from a mode board. It may disrupt Canva. Next is this feature called Future Forward 3D, which will allow us to add different textures to your 3D product and it will be very helpful in 3D product modeling. Another feature will also can convert your 3D model to an image. It can also generate templates from the text. For example, if you need a birthday poster, you just need to put text in the prompt bar and it will generate different templates from where you will able to edit them as required. It will also can edit your photo just by giving command, like changing the background. It creates vectors from text and you can import them into Illustrator. It combines different images seamlessly. It will allow you to enhance your blurry image to a perfectly sharp image. Soon Adobe will add these features in Photoshop and Illustrator to help artists. Adobe released the first two tools in beta. One of the tools works like Dolly or Midjourney, allowing users to type in a prompt and have an image created in return. Unlike Midjourney and other image generators, you don't need to be good at prompts. Because it will give you different filters and styles, aspect ratios, and colors to apply to your newly generated image. It is just far more effective and easy for an average user to create desired art. We will also be able to create realistic portraits from prompts and can change the clothes, aspect ratios, and much more perfectly. The second tool which is also released in the beta, allows us to generate stylized text effects. It's kind of like an AI powered word art. Let's say, if you enter melting chocolate in the prompt section, it will generate a text effect as you have desired. You can then change the fonts, and background color.
There is a lot of AI models Adobe had shared on its site. Let's see how many of them will be functional in the future. If you want to get access to the product you just need to fill out this invite request form. If you are eligible for the invite program, Adobe will give you access to the released models. This is all for today, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future updates. Thanks for watching.